G'day everybody, it's your boy Cheru47 here, and today it's time to take a look at the all new Season of Pride, which I've got to say having checked the update notes that people at IOI seem to be very proud of. Now, for the meager price of $7.50 AUD or $50 AUD for the entire basket of rhinoceros feces that they're slanging, you too can get another dumb suit you'll never wear, a gun that looks like a gelatinous blast of 47 million year old dragon semen, and the luxury of being able to replay a level you've already paid for and played multiple times already, with little to no changes made to it whatsoever. Bargain. Oh, and for all the IOI PP riders that keep defending the price to content ratio of Hitman 3's DLC, just remember that you're paying to do what is essentially a community made contract that you have to repeat multiple times to get some crappy items you'll likely never use. And with that out of the way, let's jump on in and see if the Season of Pride can top last month's Season of Greed and take the top spot as the worst DLC money can buy. All right, well, this is it right here, and it looks like it's called the Pride Profusion, which will cause mass confusion and make dumb people spend their money in complete dissolution. And it looks like the only objective is to find a peacock. Wow, thrilling. 47. Huh? What? 47, what? can you uh, hear well, me? Shut up, shut up. I'm sleeping. Up. I'm sleeping right now, Mom. Shut up. Oh, no. <laughs> it looks like I've woken up into the middle of another DLC nightmare. Anyway, one of the biggest changes between Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 that a lot of people still to this day don't realize is that in Hitman 3, they cranked up Agent 47's level of shiny wet baldness to 9,000. And in this DLC, they've gone and cranked it up to 9,001 by giving him a ridiculous suit full of mirrors. Oh, yes, I've never been so shiny before. German scheiße party. <sighs> Anyway, according to my intel, which is three basic words in the top left corner of my screen, I need to find the peacock. Yes, the long staircase. Ascend them and greet the peacock. Well, this staircase right here. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Where are you, Mr. Peacock? I'm just... Wanna... Look at that. Oh, what? Oh, right. <laughs> it's on the table in the middle of the car park. I don't know how I missed that. What do we got? Oh, remote CX demolition block and, uh, and a tanto. Oh, you know me too well, you cheeky bird. Oh, <laughs> hold on, wait, what? Hey! Oh, it's nothing, lady, it's just, uh, it's the, it's, it's the latest Game Boy. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what happened, but the Tanto that was on the table disappeared, and now I've got the CX demolition block in my pocket, and my objectives are to blow up two people. So I can only assume that depending on what you pick up from the table, it, the game automatically decides how you're going to take down your targets. So, uh, obviously I picked up the, <laughs> the CX demolition block, because I'm going to get these two people into that river over there. All right, so the trick is to put it on a little bit of an angle. You want to put it like right here so that you can, <laughs> you can blast them out that way. And you want to move far enough away so you don't blast yourself off the side as well. And three, two, one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. I hope you like the part, guys. All right, well, looks like I've completed the first leg of this escalation. Absolutely thrilling. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I swear. I swear that's the only reason I keep playing this stupid game. I just love being a reprehensible prick <laughs> to everyone I see. Oh, hold on. Public transport. No mask. But plenty of social distancing. Because no people. <laughs> and as you can see right here, I got one star, which obviously is the best one star. And I'm um, a... Uh, can maker. And it looks like stage two of the escalation requires me to find the peacock again. Yes, okay, you got the job done. Well, duh, haven't you seen my success rate? It's like one in two. Oh, hold on a second, that reminds me, my handy dandy little murder camera. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I've brought my handy dandy little murder camera, perfect for taking shots of people before you push them to their ultimate demise. <laughs> Sorry, lady, I know you're waiting since the beginning of the video, a little bit late, a little bit behind schedule today, but all that matters is that you... You know, all's good that ends well. I mean, all's well that ends well. I mean, whatever. Hey, bro, you want to... Oh, you, you want to take pictures of me? All right, I'll take a picture of you. But you know what that means, don't you? Oh, what the... <laughs> that guy's stiff as a board. Hey, lady, so I've got this magical camera. And when I take a picture of you, um, you have a tendency to fall off the side of buildings. <laughs> Say cheese. Da -da -da. <laughs> she didn't notice. <laughs> you want to go back to leaning over? Oh, my goodness. That was so stupid. Oh, no. Oh, this game. All right, now that I've got that out of my system, I guess it's time to address the mission objective, which is to locate the peacock. Gosh, I wonder where it is. I mean, seriously, if you're going to put this little content in, just let us look for it. <laughs> so it takes longer than like 30 seconds to complete. All right, so in order to get to the top of the building that I need to get to, I'm going to need to get to the top of this building first, which I'll do by jumping through this window right here, taking down these two dudes right here. 
then I'm very sneakily and very stealthily gonna sneak through this room right here completely undetected out this door and, and then straight back in this door because <laughs> that's not the way that I wanted to go. I'll whack old Barney over the noggin with the fire extinguisher. I said on your feet, what a shooter! All right, well, things are a little bit noisy now, so I guess I'll pull out my gun and join in the festivities. All right, so this time around, I'm not gonna bother being nice. Just give me give me the key. Where's the no, 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 nobody. None of you go, go on nowhere. Everybody stay here. All right, that's one way to silence an entire room. I don't know why, but for some reason, I thought that this guy would have a key to that door. Huh. Strange. <laughs> the way his mouth moves. <laughs> How dare you not have a key card, you dirty, dirty boy. All right, so thanks to lovely Google, I believe that the code to this door is 0118. Thank you very much. And now I'll just run my way to the top of the building after beating up Daryl and Harold. Harold. I love how his mate's just watching. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be the two dumbest security guards on the planet. And now it looks like I've made it to exactly where I want to be. Hello, Mr. Peacock. <laughs> so this is it, huh? The Majestic. Or I can pick up a bunch of dirty syringes. Well, I know which ones I'm going with. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, so it looks like I've got one target over there, another one over there, and one all the way. It looks like he's taking a piss off the top of the building. Oh, hey, look, a couple of... <laughs> A couple of levitating doorknobs. You know, I should I should probably take take a picture of that. <clears throat> ah, beautiful. I'll get one from this angle as well. Great for uh, for my Instagram. And then it's time for a gardening fork in your face and a pair of scissors in the back of your head. All right, cheese dick Charlie. I've got a dirty syringe with your name on it. Yoink. <laughs> oh wait, what are they? Are they clapping for me? Oh god, you shouldn't have. God. Oh, all right, all right, fine. You got me. You got me. I'm a little bit of a peacock. Now it looks like my other two targets should be all right, directly above me. One right there and one right there. The only issue though is getting this guy alone, which may prove to be a little bit of a problem. <clears throat> uh, could you please come and pick my knife up? I dropped it. All right, here he comes. Here he comes, and here I go. And a needle in the bum. Are oh, you? Well, because this DLC is the complete opposite of fun, there's no way that I'm going to bother myself getting back into that building so I can stick a needle up another guy's ass. So sniper rifle it is. Where is your sense of pride? Oh, shut up. I don't have any sense of pride. I've got a sense of I'd rather be doing something else than playing this crap DLC. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> zoom in and you die. And so do you. I'm sure you are proud of yourself. Nobody cares, mate. Just shut up and ask for your life story. And some penis. Oh no, I missed. Oh no. Oh, bollocks. Mate, could you just come and stand next to the window, please? <laughs> so I can. Well, that's. Maybe I can. Gosh, bulletproof windows, my only weakness. <laughs> How did he know? Oh, he's on the move again. He should be wandering past this window any second. Hi. Well, <laughs> going through that door was the biggest mistake that you made today. So simple, yet it lacks. Creativity. Oh, lacks creativity, does it? <laughs> That's rich coming from you. Oh, well, this is fancy. It looks like I need to take down that group of people with an explosion. Good thing somebody left a ginormous flammable canister right next to them. <laughs> oh, gosh. And now for level three of this escalation, I need to find the peacock. Oh, I can't wait to see what goodies he's got in store for me this time. What's wrong with you, 47? Why always taking the ball? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, the irony. Who writes the script for this deal? Did that? Oh, gosh. Really? It didn't click. It didn't click. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't click, did it? Please follow the gray line to security check. Uh, excuse me, but I'll do what I want to do, stupid robot lady. Now to hack my way through this air vent, slip into the main security room, and now to navigate past all of the guards that are... Uh, <laughs> on lunch break at the same time. Oh, hello, Mr. Peacock. We meet again. What do we got? Fiber wire, classic, or a ginormous sword. Let's go with the ginormous sword. Oh, look, they've returned. What's up, guys? Fight like a man, goddammit. Excuse me, that's sexist and um, racist. And I'm triggered and I'm shaking and crying right now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've just got to jump through this air vent. And now all that's left to do is get the heck out of here. Oh, poo. X gonna give it to your what? That's what you call super secret stealthiness. Stealth. Stuff. Of legends. Raid. Shadow <laughs> Legends. <laughs> it's raining, I probably need an umbrella. And that right there is, as far as I'm concerned, the end of the season of Pride. Hardly a season, is it, lady? 
But I guess that's just Hitman 3 lore that I haven't caught up on yet. The, the bit that says that seasons in the world of Hitman 3 only last for about 20 minutes and they're extremely unrewarding. And on that note, I'm going to get on the train and get the heck out of here. Thanks, Season of Pride. You most certainly do take the top spot as the worst DLC of all time. Which is kind of crazy to say, considering the Season of Greed was so crap, this is actually even crapper. And now if IO stays true to form, the next one will be even worse. Can't wait.